Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we are here at the Boxing Bookie. I'm going to show you how to make some money. Uh, we're going to show you how to make some money on a, on, a, on a relatively small fight on the undercard of Zhang Joyce, which we've also did a video on. We're going to do another video tomorrow as well. Uh, this is going to be on, on Zhang uh, and, and, and Joyce. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. This is going to be on Pierce O'Leary and King Gardner. I'm sorry. On the, on the Zhang Joyce card. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits. Uh, the Boxing Book, it comes at you for every major fight. Um, we keep it about 10 minutes, show you how to make money. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Please also follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Pierce O'Leary and Kane Gardner is the... Uh, co-main event on Zhang and Joyce. Uh, it's, it's, it's your typical bull versus matador type fight. Uh, I was surprised because King Garner's coming off a good win against a seek and destroy fighter in Conan Walker. Um, he out, outpointed him in, 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 a, in a good fight. Um, and, you know, they're going to look at Pierce O'Leary as a similar fighter to Conan Walker. And Conan Walker uh, just got, the, you know, a big win of his own. So that, that fight looks better in retrospect. Uh, with Conor Walker beating Cyrus Pattinson. Um, but this is a good fight. Um, uh, the odds, I thought, they, they favored the right guy. I just thought they were way too high. Uh, but we can show you how to make money on this. Again, you guys have to, we're not going to make a ton of money off this fight. This isn't like Zhang and Joyce, uh, the co-main event. But this is a good fight. You can make money off this fight. This is a good little fight. Um, I wish there were props on it. I, I do think Pierce O'Leary is going to stop him. Um, but we're going to get into it in just a minute. Uh, the odds are all really, really high. Uh, but that's why you have to follow me. We'll, we'll make some money on this. We're not going to get rich off this one. Uh, Zhang and Joyce is a much better one to make money off of. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to make money on this. It's, 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 it's pretty straightforward. Um, but you got to take all the advice. You got to follow all the advice. Right? You got to follow all the advice. And, and you're going to make a ton of money. Boxing bookies, bookmakers don't know how to handicap boxing. I'm going to show you how to take down the house. Okay. Um, and again, you're not going to make a ton of money up with this fight because they, they, they did make the odds so high in favor of Pierce O'Leary. So I'm showing my hand on who think, I think is going to win. Uh, Pierce O'Leary is a good pressure fighter. He's got good power. He comes forward. He doesn't throw a ton of punches, uh, but he doesn't waste anything. He doesn't waste any energy. He doesn't waste punches. He's not wild like Kona Walker is. He, he's pretty reserved, right? He stays in a, he stays in a, in a defensive posture. He comes forward. And uh, when he does come forward, you know, a lot of times his his, his – uh, Power punching, his hard shots, everything he throws is hard. It, it, it kind of acts as his defense. It'll, it'll cause you to show up. Um, you know, he, he's a stalker. He throws everything hard. His jab is hard. He, he has a good jab, a snappy jab. He, he uses to get on the inside, which he's going to have to utilize. Um, and, you know, as a kind of Kane Gardner, on the other hand, is, is, is the boxer. He's the mover. He's going to be off the back foot. He's going to try to do he, – he will not come forward. Um, you know – even if you you look at his past fights where he's fighting other pure boxers, he's not coming forward. Uh, he had an opportunity to come forward uh, with Kona Walker. Um, when he had caught Kona a few times, he would not do it. So, um, you know, in a sense, um, you know, Leary's going to fight right into his game plan, right? But he's Leary is another level. Um, King Garner doesn't have a lot of snap. He doesn't look. He doesn't really like to hurt you or, or punish you. He's he's strictly off the back foot circling. He's a lot of times a one fisted fighter. It's his jabs. He'll hook a little bit. He'll hook to the body from from range, which I, I think will be a mistake with um, uh, with Pierce O'Leary. I do think Pierce O'Leary is going to stop him eventually. Late, like I said, I wish there were more props on this. That there is not. Uh, but if you pull uh, FanDuel, I'm going to show you the odds. I'm going to show you how to make money on this. Um, because, like I said, there's, there's not a ton of money to be made, but we can make some money on this. You get minus 650. I, I think this is 
Easy money. I think this is a great fight to make money on. Um, but, you know, there's, there's a way we need to do this. Um, you know, a, it's a two times bet. It's a layup. Um, so whatever you typically bet, I would double that. You know, uh, it's it's minus 650. Like I said, we're not going to make a ton of money on this. Um, so a $200 bet will make you $30.76. Guys, I know that's not a lot of money, uh, but this is, you know, again, Kane Gardner is not going to win. And the spread is kind of wide on this, which I wasn't expecting. Kane Gardner is plus 425. I wasn't expecting that. Um, that's not what I was expecting. Um, but he's not going to win. So it's, it's really not relevant. O'Leary's going to win the fight. O'Leary's going to stop him. Last time I checked, there were no props. I will check again. No no knockdowns. No fight props. No round props on this fight, unfortunately. Um, so that's all we got on this fight, unfortunately, is, is, is um, the money line and... Like I said, we're going to take uh, Pierce O'Leary, and you're going to do two times your normal bet. You'll make thirty seventy six. And you know, I always use a hundred because easy number on a two dollars bet. You'll make thirty dollars and seventy six cents. O'Leary's going to get in, probably stop him. He's going to outwork him. Um, he's going to get in and break him down. He's like I said, he's a hitter. O'Leary's a top notch prospect. I don't think Kane Gardner is trash by any means. I think Kane Gardner is a decent fighter, uh, but just stylistically, he's not going to be able to keep O'Leary off of him. He doesn't look to hurt O'Leary, so he's not going to be able to slow O'Leary down, and eventually O'Leary's going to get it. And it, it, it's a thing with a lot of these British fighters. I'm not trying to knock these British fighters. A lot of them have skills, and Gardner has skills. He just There's nothing next level about him. He's a decent fighter. He's a pretty good athlete, right? But that's just not going to be enough with Gardner. Um, he's going to have to, you know, you're going to have I mean, enough with O'Leary. You're going to have to break O'Leary down. O'Leary's a really top notch prospect. I do think he'll be a world champion at some point. Like, that's how good he is. Um, but this really is not the fight right now, right? Like, this is the game plan that Garner has. I mean, Garner can't do anything besides go backwards. He can't do it, doesn't even try. So, I, I, you know, I, I don't really see a path to victory. You know, and I think that's kind of why the odds are so high, although I was expecting based off the Kona, uh, Walker win and what Conor Walker went on. Then I, I, I did think this fight would be closer. It's not. This is what we have, you know, and this is what we're going to make money on. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Box, 3D Box, and blog on all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing book comes at you. We'll be back tomorrow uh, on Friday with another show. Uh, we got a lot of fights to get into this week, and we're going to certainly do that for you. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Box, 3D Box, and blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you. Every, uh, like I said, it comes at you every day. Uh, it is September 21st, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.